Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy 16, where we make our way for table at the moment with Jill and Joshua around. Meaning we have so much icon power now. It's um, well, yeah, and Torgo, but Torgo hasn't transformed again once yet. What's with that, Torgo? You have the capability. Not enough belly scratches. I don't know. But before we go for Tabor, of course, we checked out this little alley at the end of last session. But now we need to check out this alley over here. <laughs> Not too far away. <laughs> I don't want to fight on top of this rock. <laughs> I can't hit my targets now. Oh, I'm going to be terrible for the right at the start, but it'll be fine. Yes, that's it. Use some abilities to kill him faster. I felt the camera was jiggling even more on that one. Get out of my way. Where is it? This is what I said about... Oh, thanks, tall girl. There wasn't too many... They're in the way. They attacked me. I wasn't taking a risk. They came at me. My goodness, it's so dark here. Add on the gloom versus all the extra stuff so we can go right or left as a pathway choice. I mean, when you've got that much gloom, though, you've got to look at it and say the lighting's pretty damn good. Oh, look, treasure on the ground. <laughs> totally not a trap, right? Get him, Joshua. I think Torgo will finish the deal. I couldn't even tell you what I actually picked up in, at that point. What did I even get? Picked up something, I know that much. But yeah, thank you for gifting yet another sub. Well, you have more exploration choice than in Final Fantasy 13 then. Actually, no, I'd say pretty much the same. I mean, in Final, it's the same as Final Fantasy 7 2, as I consider it. It's the same as, uh, I'm not talking remake, same as Final Fantasy 6. A rude, a world map is uh, still a corridor. You still have a place you have to go to do the story. It's just the illusion of choice. Oh, I wanted to do something then, but I completely forgot. Oh, that's that. <laughs> Mess that up a lot. A very important illusion, though. I'm gonna die. Nice try. Expecting a big boy like that to be hanging around. Right, we should check out the other corridor that we've got at this point in time. The only reason I always mention that it's the illusion of choice, right? Is because it always comes apparent that there are uh, tons of people that actually believe they have choice. <laughs> like, proper choice as well. Which is bonkers to me. <laughs> I don't realize it's just an illusion. <laughs> I think it's genuinely actually choice. <laughs> I 
Damn, get out. Bye bye. I'll let that bomb explode itself. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a not bad experience for getting that. I get that some people like a world map, and there's big world maps here. I mean, this is basically Final Fantasy XIV design, after all. Got your little corners to uh, get into and have a look around. As long as you understand the design of it, it's just... Uh, it always baffles me that people genuinely believe that they had choice as well. Like, super genuinely believe that they had choice. It's like, no... It's like, you might have gone to, like, Fort Condor, sure, at this bit of the story. But that can be delivered in many other ways than just a location on a map. And it being a location on a map doesn't make it any, like, doesn't really make it better. Whereas I prefer, I prefer a pretty tight experience when I think about it. Not that I need to like absolutely be held in my hand to go from A to B to C to D to E and go all the way through the alphabet. Just I like uh, my story to not be thrown aside for the purpose of giving this illusion. Do you get me? Okay, so I need some goblins. Ah, the goblins are hitting me! The eye of choice group flocks more to the Mass Effect side of things, I feel, where nothing you do matters in the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's avoid that. Oh, you have all these dialogue options and they can affect the story, but... It doesn't matter if the story suffers for it. Suffers pretty badly as well. What the hell? Oh, this joins up with, uh, over here then. Okay. All over area over here. My own block made me jump then, I'm not even kidding. I didn't think I hit it in time. <laughs> oh, I'm out of range! Bad kitty, I guess, then? Wait, I never even checked out that. I just walked straight past it. Whoops. This is an abandoned fishing village. What can it be, I wonder? Things I've seen before. I just don't do things, is why I understand it. 
Get him, Torgal. Oh, I'm not even allowed to go over there. Quick, we need to fish like Noctis. To be perfectly honest, I feel like one of the major things you could carry on from Final Fantasy 15 into other Final Fantasy games is literally the fishing. If you want to do fishing, there probably isn't a need to do the fishing again. Just carry over that exact fishing. Would you agree with that? <laughs> it's pretty in-depth. No, you don't want that fishing. But I, you, they could just not have fishing. That's fine as well. But if they do, I thought that fishing was good. Oh my god, it's so dark. I wouldn't be able to see if there's a chest. Oh, there we go. Thanks to the marker. Their darks and lights are quite massive. Oh, this isn't going to be an abandoned fishing village for just the sake of being an abandoned fishing village, I'm sure. There'll be some kind of mark or hunt here, I'd imagine. But if there's not, it makes sense this to fill in the world. This must have been a fishing village before everyone left. We've been talking about it for a while, Clive. Have care. Oh, boofs. Not running away. I just see a special. Then we're gonna attack me. Come on, wolves. Give it a go. <laughs> what am I doing? That's the last one. He gave it a go, so I'll give him the extra punch. <laughs> it's Chekhov's fishing village. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> you know something will happen here, but not yet. But it's nice that you can visit there beforehand. means we're getting in some pre-exploration. We do this quite often in games. Come to a place before there's any reason to come there. Kind of inefficiently. But then once we get there, we can just kind of rush through the area. Do you know what I mean? Because we've already explored it. Pre-exploration. That's how that works anyway. Final Fantasy 50 made you hate fishing games. My goodness. hell? Like, so that path leads to Leitney's Cleft through Leitney's Horde and the Vaults. Where was the point where we got cut off? But this way goes all the way to... <laughs> Guys, I may have gotten well off the beaten track. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this pathway to go quite this far. My god, it's giving me the illusion of... <laughs> Gotta hit my lucky sevens. It should just automatically die when I hit that. That's what I reckon. I get that on the way back, I guess. I don't even know anymore. Where the hell am I going? Maybe I'll bump into those two asking me to kill some bandits again. That would be like a warp stone or something along this way. A lot of lucky sevens there, aren't I? It pooped on me. Ah, Kerda's Weft. That has to be somewhere where a hunt is in the future, then. We found a probable location for some kind of S-ranked being. That's what I reckon. Yeah. I'd say an S-rank is here. I mean, it's not here now. It won't attack us now because it's too early game for us to be attacked. But I think we can all agree 
that this is spoilers yeah <laughs> that this is probably an s rank arena it's though that said because of the last time we tried to find an s rank uh svarog it is better that we find the arena earlier than not do you know what i mean <laughs> so we don't have time just looking around everywhere going where the hell are we going then I mean, it could not be an ace rank arena, but it's going to be a hunt. The thing is, the uh, the S rank so far of the two of them we've had, they've both been in large, open, circular esque spaces that are separate from the rest of the map quite seriously. Okay, because we've gone all that way now, we need to go back and into here. I d should I go to here or not? So I'm assuming that the areas I've been to are the ones with the markers on them, right? So that I don't even know actually. Where the hell have I been? That's Lately's Cleft there. Oh, okay, we can't actually cross that. So no, okay, we can't go all the way around there. So somehow, even though these areas join up, the areas are still blocked off. That's the thing. Well, we might make it to table soon, but we start with exploration. Bye. I can walk from here. No, I. I prefer you to stay, Ambrosia. I can't run in the village. I'm not allowed. I'm banned. There's not even a police to like stop me from like jaywalking or anything. Not that that's a law over here, but. Who the hell's regulating my speed? Well, I guess I'm a law-abiding Clive. That's how it works, yeah? Fly, Ambrosia. Alright, we'll leave the Dracos deep. So we have an area above it. Which we can look over things from. Well... <laughs> They're people with magical speed guns. There probably is, yeah. You're right. You deserve a rest. Gotta watch out for the magical speed cameras. <laughs> what goblins? I don't know what he's talking about. And we are blocked off here for sure. All right, let's, let's go back the way we were. Run like the wind. That's not into a wall like I tried to pilot you. It's not even the fact that, like, I need to get through that barrier. Because I don't, do I? I do wonder where it'll open, though. <laughs> I guess I respect the sign of a red circle with a line through it too much, maybe. Oh, that's that's rules, that is. It's telling me about them rules. Barrier, it's not trails. Though, even still, it's not trails. We still can't get over the barrier. Some dude. Why would I walk into that alley, guy? Oh, there's a treasure chest behind you. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, you got me, mister. There's a treasure chest behind you. No! 
Seriously, did he just down himself? I'm not even sure anymore. I think he did just down himself. I think he hit the lightning rod and knocked himself down. Good job, enemy. Good job. Right, our exploration to get to this point took 20 minutes. But we explored quite a lot. Hand of Dion. This one's awake. This one's awake. That means something. Chronoliths. Chronoliths are similar to the Erette Stone in that within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Each Chronolith presents Clive with a time trial in which he must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies equipped only with the feet and abilities of a single icon. Uh, okay. Which one? So I can power it up more. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Trial by wind. Within this ancient men here awaits a harrowing trial in which Clive must race to overcome a host of deadly foes wielding the blessing of but a single icon, Garuda. I wonder actually if the levels of anything carry over into it. It's a four. Uh, how much ability power do I even have? Because these aren't exactly powered up in any way, shape, or form, are they? I have quite a few ability points that I've kind of been saving. Max out Deadly Embrace if I'm going to be doing that then. Yeah, I don't need to go past, so... I'll probably only have two of the abilities, so I'll go with Wicked Wheel, I guess. But I don't need to master them because I don't know if they actually get more power from that. So I guess... It's Garuda time? Sure. That's where I get destroyed. Oh, there's three stages? To complete the trial, Clive must defeat all enemies before time runs out using only the predetermined feat and abilities of a single icon. Time can be extended by performing certain battle techniques specified before the start of each trial phase. <laughs> With the four? <laughs> Collateral Cyclone? Punish, Ability Finish, Multi Burst, Precision Dodges give you one second extra. Okay. Sure. So you don't get to change them. So I've Gouge and Wicked Wheel anyway. So I don't know if like the upgraded abilities of them actually matter for anything. We get additional bonuses. First bonus, earn a battle technique bonus for the first time, plus three seconds. Uh, I don't even know. Launch an enemy into the air with Wicked Wheel, then land an aerial strike three times. Gets plus 12 seconds. Full gouge. Well, I would have done that naturally as well. Land 10 magic bursts. Eight deadly takedown. Deadly combo. Land a four-hit melee combo after drawing an enemy with deadly embrace. I, I don't even know. Let's just begin. Oh my god, it's so good! Ow, you hit me! No, stop hitting me! I've got timer here. This is not going very well. Farewell. Get my extra time bonus, I guess. I missed. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I thought I dodged that, but I went way too early. I've been, I've got more time than I started with, so I guess it's okay. Can you give me the counter ability, please? That'd be nice. That's 31 seconds for that. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I didn't fly. I don't know what he took me. Okay, that's uh, stage one complete. Only stage one. Oh, uh, so I got two and plus two and five seconds for that. I have more time than I started with, but there's another, 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 another stage now. Okay, was that done? I don't even know. <laughs> I got 12 triple wheels. No, I got two triple wheel bonuses. I got one bonus for pulling guy down, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God, it keeps going. What's, what's even going on anymore? Oh, I've made a door into another dimension. What even is this? Stage two now. What have I got? Wicked Wheel and Brooks Gambit still? Oh, I got Rook's Gambit! Yeah! Better than Gouge. <laughs> Way better than Gouge. Use Rook's Gambit to block an enemy attack and deliver a counter. That's what we're going to have to, like, do. Oh. <laughs> I missed! Damn it! <laughs> Use it! There we go. Build up quite a lot of time now. Is this like a death walk? It's like, if I go into it, do I die or can I knock him into it to kill him? It's okay. 
I know where the guy's gone. It's annoying because I know what my actual target. If I just kill him, then I'll be good on. Again, build more time. Build more time. Went too early. Boing, boing, boing. Stop it. Stay here. I went too early again. He's dead now. Just wasn't a good ending time. Uh, well, I'm still getting more time, so it's not going terrible. Now what have I got? Now what's... What is this place? <laughs> what am I doing? How many stages are there? Will I end up fighting Garuda at the end? Because it feels like it at this point. So now I've got Aerial Blast. Which has crazy stagger power, but not much damage, actually. And Rook Scoundrel. Well, that's not bad. It's a big one! This is my counter. Stay down! Oh, I went way too early. So because this does crazy stagger power, should I just launch it now? I can't see anything, nor can anyone know. <laughs> That took quite a while, didn't it? I wish I could see what the enemy was doing during that. Now you're supposed to go down then. How are you not? Should have left it for the big group of enemies, actually. It's fair to clear up the ants with that kind of stuff. for time, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Oh, 
to say, I know which one's my target, but I guess I got visually distracted that time. He's using a big swing, but I can't see him. Fine, we don't need to see. Okay, we did need to see, it turned out. There more? Well, we got 3 minutes 51. I think I didn't gain any time that time. No? What's even going on? Oh, uh, final stage. Is it Garuda? Oh. It's a kitty. So we got Gouge and we got Aerial Blast. Oh, that sucks, Gouge. <laughs> oh, well. Can't have any, all right. Are you the actual boss? Considering you got an animation? Oh, you are. So now I've got... No, you're not allowed to bite me. Do I have health? Oh, I don't have health. I'm on one health bar? Oh, I didn't know we got to do that. Too slow. I don't know what's going on anymore, but I think it's getting hurt. I think it's helps going now, but I don't know if it's within any kind of like speed limit I need to hit. I've really got, I always go default to melee. Because I really need to default to spell more for that kind of stuff. I don't gain any extra time here. I actually have to just kill it. Oh, that's not good. Come back here. Stop coming out of range. I really need you to be close. Only got a minute left. do it. Only got a minute left. She says with 1 minute 58. You know what I mean. We're down to one on the board. 
Well, that was weird. I made it to level 41 through that. And we got the Will of Wind Aerial Blast, residual wind ether that having failed to dissipate on the battlefield was instead manifested into a solid form not unlike crystal, but with an elemental purity that renders it far more potent, if not highly specialized in its applications. Increases Aerial Blast will damage by 12%. I did a thing. I love hanging out in this battlefield. I guess it's nice to have a little look around this. Wherever the hell I am. Fancy place. So basically, the whole thing is do the things, build up as much time as possible, beat the boss. Draw by wind is complete. <laughs> That's just called living with my other half. The final trial. A new level of Cronlift difficulty, the final trial, is now available with the in the Hideaways Alete Stone. Which is just basically a replay of that trial, I take it. Okay, well we came out far. All the enemies respawned for our troubles. And for it we found 50 gil. Congratulations! <laughs> Now they'll be all across the world that I'll have to do them at some point in time. So uh, look forward to it, I guess. We have no way to get through there or here. We continue on to Tabor. From I guess, this is the, the nearest point. It grades my performance though. Ah, oh, I got a triple S rank. I know it. Come on. <laughs> Run like the wind. To be honest, I never needed to hit a grade. Um, I would say I'm not that interested. Personally. But uh, I guess that, that there's probably a trophy for it or something. You get SSSSSSSSS and everything. <laughs> you can join the SSSSSSSS. <laughs> you with your lovely glowing swords. So it's getting my new monitor as well. I've uh, dialed in the color settings and now it's looking very nice. It's one of the things people forget. They just buy TVs, I think. In, uh, or at least I do. I don't know if people in general do, actually, when I think about it. I do it because I'm dumb. You buy something and then you don't, don't do anything with it where you really do need to, like, calibrate things. Base settings aren't great. Hollis does not need to hit a grade. He does, however, need to hit max theoretical DPS based on gear. Yes. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? This, you're talking about Final Fantasy XIV, of course, and my love for gear. I'd like to know that I can out, even if my skill is a bit below. I like to, I like that the gear, like ch ch doing gear, can allow me to output a theoretical amount. But even that isn't min maxing, because min maxing in games is like getting rotations down, knowing the exact order of things. It's still not min-maxing, just to have good gear. <laughs> Med-maxing? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the least you can do in games is to get a relatively good set of gear. Wait a second, we already got the warp today, but I forgot about it because of the red marker. Oops. That'll do, girl. So, we are back in Thabor after taking a trial and exploring the rest of the outer regions of this land. I can restore my potion, which welcome, is, to be honest, I, we haven't really used that many. 145 desert roses I have at this point in time. We only used one. Fine choice. While we were out and about. What brings you to our humble village, young man? If it's our artisans you're here to see, then please... But do try not to interrupt their work. A tanning, are they? All right. It's time to continue the story.
My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons!
Enough. Imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Thus, surely the prince's light cannot have sated you.